Bismillah. Hello together. I hope that you're fine. Uh, today we are going to see how to draw a hepsometric curve on ArcGIS. So what we are what we are in need. So this is the form of the watershed which I want to use. This is the watershed of Ben Saleh, uh, which has a surface of 2,099.7 square kilometer. So first of all, I, I need to open ArcGIS. Then I will open the digital elevation model then of that of that watershed. So this is the digital elevation model of that watershed. So first, double click here and select and select standard deviation and apply. Then OK. Then I have to double double click here double click here go to unique values yes then I have to go to classified and select here so this is this is the Excel file of how to draw uh, epsometric curve you need the the fields of altitude the surface the partial surface the altitude here in the reverse reverse form the, the surface in percentage and the accumulated surface like you are seeing here so I am going to fill those uh, columns of maximum elevation minimum elevation and surface as we has or as we said that the surface is 2099 so I'm going to fill it here 2000 2099.7 square kilometer the maximum here the maximum here is uh, the maximum elevation is 1532.40 so 1000 532.40 and the minimum is is 488.20 488.20 meter and here you are seeing that the mean altitude is 1856.26 so here I have to classify that elevate that them depending on the elevation classes which I have here from 495 or 488 depending on the class and here to 500 so I have to go here equal interval how many lines one two three four Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I, ha I need to twelve, twelve classes. So first, to I starting to buy five hundred. Then I'm going from here. No. 100 1300 1200 1100 800 700 600 500 so this is the intervals I'm going to click OK and apply like this so this is the classes this is the the dem classified depending on the elevation classes now I have to go to arc toolbox here check arc toolbox I have to wait the the response of our toolbox
So go to 3D Analyst Tools, Raster cl Class, and Reclassify. So I have to choose the DEM, and this is the classes which you have or which you are seeing here. This is I can select so now I have to do or click OK I have to wait the answer so this is the answer depending on the this is the the raster classify depending the elevation classes now I have to go to research and click to raster to polygon like this polygon with Y and search select raster to polygon and select the new file and click OK says this is the the polygon the resulted polygon containing the surfaces of the different elevation classes here I have to go to editor start editing then open attribute table select but by attribute and go to select grid kit grid code here get unique values so like you are seeing that we have 12 values so i have to click equal to one and select apply then i have to go to editor and click merge yes and two is the same apply and merge and three is the same apply and editor merge and like this till reaching the the last the last value which is 12 so this is the last value 12 apply and merge okay now I have to go to to here and sorts by ascending from 1 to 12 like this then I have to go to editor and stop editing yes close this window and go to here and select export I have to select the file on C, the file of Pensalah watershed, like you are seeing here, and select here the base table and click polygon, polygon surfaces of Pensalah watershed like this and save okay and no now I have to go to the C the C partition then Saleh watershed file then I have to select polygon surfaces here select new new window on Excel and try to to translate that file polygon surfaces of Pensala watershed point DBF I have to translate it on the new window of Excel like you are seeing here so this is the results and the results are not classified depending on the one from from 1 to 3 uh, from 1 to 12 so here I have to classify it depending on that order so here I have in general what I need I need to close or 
deletes those areas deletes also this and try to merge try to merge those codes here I have to click zero temporarily just temporarily and go to data okay so this is the data from 1 to 12 like are seeing I can click grid code another time like you are seeing so here as you are seeing that the value are in square meter I, I need them in square kilometer so I have to divide it on 1 million to convert them from square meter to square kilometer I have to divide them on 1 million like you are seeing and okay I have to translate from here to apply on all the watershed so I need to check that the surfaces or the summing or the total surface of the partial surfaces are 2099 like you are seeing so I have to do summing here so like you are seeing at 2099.45 just small and small difference it's not it's not uh, important so like you are seeing so from here I have to copy those go to word past then copy it another time to the Excel file like you are seeing here so here just to fix that error by selecting E1 not E2 and here also E1 to calculate the surface in percentage you have to, to divide that partial surface on the total surface and multiply it in 100 to see and to find it like this so this is the hypsometric curve to trace the hypsometric curve you need you need those columns the accumulated surface and you need also the altitude form altitude to trace to trace the upsymmetric curve here we have elevations in the y axis and the x axis we have the accumulated surfaces in 100 so this is the hypsometric curve I hope that I was clear and I hope for for you also to uh, to success to apply that thank you very much and take care of yourself and salam alaikum